I was sold to Joe Biden multiple times. So, sometimes people don't talk about it because when you don't talk about it, it makes it okay. When you don't talk about it, it makes you bury it. When you don't talk about it, it's easier and it kills that part of you. Um, I was sold for blowjobs. I was sold for sex. Um, there is many people who trade to eat, beat, and rape children under the ground. Um, I have many friends that I've lost and I have many people that I've met that didn't make it, um, that refer to me as a traitor. What they do to one, they will do to everyone else. Well, the best thing that you can do, obviously, own. is get this out as far and as wide as possible. I mean, I think that that is probably the best form of protection for you and for anybody else. And now that this is out there on a national platform, I mean, I just don't see any reason why somebody should not be investigating and exposing these tunnels that we have all heard about and that have raised eyebrows in this community now for since the beginning of the Trump presidency. When you're right, the attention was directed, the eyes were opened up in this way during that presidency, as in were opened in a lot of other things as well. But nothing is more horrific, nothing is more important than stopping child sex trafficking. That has to be done. This has to be exposed. Our children are our most precious gifts from God. And we must protect them by any means necessary. And everybody involved needs to be exposed. Disassociative identity disorder happens when you have nowhere to go with the trauma, when you have nowhere to go with the pain. So your mind splits and shatters into a million pieces, but those are people uh, that have had to take a part of the pain and do what they have to do to stay alive. So a lot of your detractors, skeptics would say, Ali Carter waited until July of 2020 to come out with all of this on Instagram. That was conveniently just before a highly contested hot presidential election. This is a political hit job. That's all this is. To those people, what do you say? Human sex trafficking, human child trafficking is not an argument. It's not a political issue. It's not a religious issue. It's not a sexual orientation. It is a humanity issue. There are children that are black, white, blue, green. There is no one that needs to have an argument about this conversation. This is a humanity issue that everybody needs to move for. Have any authorities looked underneath the Getty Museum? Has anybody investigated your claims about tunnels being there or anywhere else? Will anybody go underground? Have you shown them the door? Have you shown them how to I've, get there? I've tried to talk to people um, and they told me they will make sure that I stay silent. Uh, everybody covers this up. Everyone covers everything up, but it's not just the Getty. It is underground in your schools. It is underground in your cemeteries. It is underground every day where you walk on. Who's it's manufacturing, everything. who's building, who's creating these tunnels? I don't any, know. Do you have any idea? That's what everybody, I have no idea. I do not know who's at the top. Do people that work at the schools, do they know that they're there? Do the teachers yes. know? Yes, the school is complicit. Your teachers are complicit. When I was trafficked throughout uh, my high schools and, and my time in foster care, uh, my teachers signed me in and out of school. There was a the, 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 the automated service that gives you a call that lets you know that your students are tardy. Um, they were making sure that I was present in my classes, but I was I was dropped off at school. I was picked up by my pimp. I was returned before the bus got back and I was placed back in my foster home or I would not go to school for the day. Uh, it was brought to the attention of my SROs. It was brought to the attention of the guidance counselors. Um, and they are all complicit. They all know what's going on. What and it is reported. And it was reported and, and completely ignored. It is reported and it is documented by social workers. So the law enforcement agencies that are ignoring this, why are they doing that? What, why are cops and investigators and federal agents, why are they ignoring your claims, your victimization, the crimes against you? Because they're customers. They're all customers. Again, everybody is so worried about the top Hollywood elite, but you should be worried about the people that sit next to you every day. They are complicit. Your local police are complicit.
All of them? They're customers, all of them. They're customers. There are some good cops. There are some some good cops, but they're very one far and few in between. And so those good cops that know about what you have going on, are they unwilling to, to do anything about it because the majority of them that surround them are involved and that they could lose their jobs? They could lose their jobs. They could be threatened for the rest of their lives. They could be hunted, stalked, and harassed just as much as the Freemason Brotherhood cops do to everyone else. What they do to one, they will do to everyone else. Well, the best thing that you can do, obviously, is get this out as far and as wide as possible. I mean, I think that that is probably the best form of protection for you and for anybody else. And now that this is out there on a national platform, I mean, I just don't see any reason why somebody should not be investigating and exposing these tunnels that we have all heard about and that have raised eyebrows in this community now for since the beginning of the Trump presidency, when you're right, the attention was directed, the eyes were opened up in this way during that presidency, as in were opened in a lot of other things as well. But nothing is more horrific, nothing is more important than stopping child sex trafficking. That has to be done. This has to be exposed. Our children are our most precious gifts from God. 